welcome back to Life and Hair and another fabulous topper to review. Believe it or not ladies, I've actually recorded this once already and the reason why I'm re-recording the intro is because when I watched the footage back I saw how much hair I had lost over the last couple of months and I simply <laughs> couldn't bring myself to press the publish button. Myself. OMG, look at the state of my hair. Half of what I had has now fallen out. I can't possibly show this online. It's all very well, isn't it? Being gung-ho when you're feeling good, when you're feeling confident. But there's something primal about the loss of hair, kind of like if your teeth were to start to fall out, you know, or if your nails started to fall off. There's something that a part of you is being stripped away. It's falling out, falling away into the world. And you're losing a part of yourself, of who you are, of your energy, of your identity, and many other subconscious things that I can't quite grasp hold of so that I can actually explicitly mention them by name. I, so I just wanted to reshoot it and put something else on. Uniwigs got in touch with me. I was really excited to get an email from them and they wanted me to do a review for one of their toppers. They had seen that I had already done two topper reviews, both John Renault, both Top Smart, one was straight and one was curly. And I loved those toppers. And one of the things, lots of feedback from those toppers with one very clear concern that was coming from a lot of ladies is where do you start buying your own topper? You know, there are so many sizes in the bases, you can't figure out what size you need, what if you buy something and it's too small and then it's separating at the back and everybody can see your hair loss, what's the point in spending that money on something that's not going to work? And then, you know, then you've got the problem of, well, what colour do I get? So, I've always said, start with a colour match for your own hair. This, of course, is Radiant Beauty, but I just wanted to say that I dye my hair this kind of medium brown. It's around an eight, um, and that's what I went for uh, previously, and that's what I went for again. So I felt that the colour part was kind of solved. Once I'd received the toppers that matched my own hair colour, then I could start progressing into different colours, different highlights, you know, rooted colours, that sort of thing. But I'm certainly not at that stage at the moment. The other thing that I was concerned about was the size of the base, because the two other toppers I've got by John Renault are nine inches by nine inches. And this was going to be eight inches across the top front to back by seven inches side to side. So I knew that I wasn't going to get as much coverage as that larger size. In all fairness, Uniwig's website do have larger bases. It just so happened that I believe at that time the large bases were all synthetic. And I was so keen to try a human hair topper, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to just take the chance. Let's order it. That's what we did. They were very, very helpful, I want to say. They were very understanding in my umming and ahhing and not knowing exactly what to go for. Now let's have a look at what we got. So the lovely la lady at Uniwig said, I've watched your videos and I suggest Courtney. As I said, I've already told you what the me measurements are. And she suggested kind of a medium brown. And here is that glorious mouth-watering, medium brown colour. 16 inches of Remy human hair, 
lightly layered in the cheekiest <laughs> way possible. Let's just take a minute to appreciate this lovely colour. And it matched my own hair colour quite well. I didn't have anxiety about it. But when we look at the base, here it is. 8 by 7 inches. Just looking at it, I could very quickly see that it was smaller than the previous one I had. It doesn't have a monofilament top, it has a very good monofilament part. And now, this is another area where I was a little bit concerned because I had tried the lace front toppers. Now they have their advantages and their disadvantages and actually one of the disadvantages of a larger base with a lace front is that you do get some buckling because basically the base is so large that it kind of bends down and it puckers and creases so you have to manage that. Now we don't have a lace front in the Courtney and I was thinking is this going to be a situation like for example when I get my basic cap wigs that are full, you know, that have got the um, permatease on the top, where they've got that thick band of permatease with the fibres over the top. But no, we do not. We do not. Now, take a close look at this. You can see, and I've put some tape along that part line. But they have quite a thin amount of hair that has been somehow attached to the front of this. It's natural looking. It's natural looking. I was quite worried about that, but actually You'll see in a minute when I put it on. I don't think I had anything really to worry about. A lot of people have got quite a lot of hair at the front. They might have loss further back. And what they do with a rat tail comb is that they actually tease out some of their own hair and put it over the front. Now, I don't have that luxury. Most of my hair loss is actually at the front. So I really needed to rely on what this actually looked like, the finished effect of what this looked like. Of course, you know, this is my first time trying it on and this is like first impressions straight out of the box. I wanted also to say that the, the monofilament part is four inches long by one and a half inches wide. So you've got one and a half inches to play with. See. I chose a right-sided part for this. It comes right and left-sided and middle apart as well. So I've told you the measurements, I've told you the colour, I've told you about the base construction and the monofilament part and what the front looks like. Now let's get this on and see what our first impressions are of this Courtney human hair topper that I have been coveting for oh so many months. So here it is. My very first impression is how flat it is. Wow! I'm used to putting on other toppers, synthetic style, that have already got the body and the movement built in. But I think that if you were to buy this um, Courtney human hair topper, you would feel like really you just had some hair that's been added to you and it was up to you to actually do something about it. The actual hair itself feels quite different to synthetic. It's very cool against my skin. 
it, it is a little bit weightier than the synthetic. It moves in a really lovely way. There's absolutely no style to this. I actually look a little bit sort of Spanish, you know, like a um, flamenco dancer. Because it's just a load of long hair that you have put on. And if you like this look, if you like this style, which I actually really do like, it's a very, very good style if you wanted to leave it like this to put on for a low density natural look. Because this is human hair, I'm pretty sure, I feel quite confident that you can curl this quite well. You know, you can curl your own hair and this top of hair. And in fact, I, I bought um, a curling wand. This is the type that you just wrap the hair around. And it comes with a, a glove so you don't burn your skin. And the idea is that I'm going to try to give this hair body and make it a little bit bigger and see if that works. I do love the colour. I don't know if the camera is picking this up. This is actually a medium brown but it's got some auburn highlighted strands all the way through it here and there. And actually when the light hits it, it does give it a little bit of an amber glow. I don't know if you can see that there. So this 16 inch length, it's, it's not freakishly long. I mean, as a 50 something year old woman, I feel that I can realistically get away with this. Um, let's see how it looks under here. Very, very good colour match for any medium brown colour. I mean, you can see, you know, even though this is a low density topper, actually, I've lost quite a lot of hair all over. So, you know, I would, if, if for example, I wanted to put it up to one side like this, I would do so with quite a lot of care. And the nice thing about putting it up to one side is that you can get hold of those topper hairs and tease them down so that they sort of flop and fall over your own hair to try and detract from the difference in density of the two. But I think this looks very natural. I'm actually looking in my mirror right here. It's really, really nice that you can choose which side you want your part to be. Because I have worn my part on this side all my life. And um, I'm very, very used to it. I'm very used to having my hair on this side. And actually I reckon that with that curling wand I could probably put in some nice movement here, fill out this bit somewhat, and that would really make me feel like myself. There's no doubt, ladies, that there's a lot of value to be gained from a human hair topper. I mean, you know, I, 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 I love my synthetic wigs and I adore my synthetic toppers. I think they look pretty realistic. You'd have to really, really examine somebody's, you know, look to see the difference, to spot the difference. Uh, this is 130% density. So it is, I won't say low density, but it's definitely a natural density.
very very natural density. Um, I'm going to lunch uh, to see a very old friend of mine. Now that I've got this on and I've got my makeup done, I'm going to go ahead and put some curls in this. They might turn up turn out like beach waves because I I really have no idea how this Remy hair holds the curl. How long does the curl stay? Does it go into barrel curl? Does it go into beach wave? Can you get some lift up here with the curl? I've no idea. These are things that I very much look forward to experimenting with. And um, I will be making another video in due course after I've worn this for a little bit longer. No, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. If, well, if you've got quite fine, sparse hair that is about this long, I do think that the 7x8 topper has got a good likelihood of giving you adequate coverage at 130% density. You can get this topper in different lengths also, it's 12, 16 and 18. You know, so if, if you want something shorter or longer, that's, that's very doable. Um, I kind of feel a bit weird in it. I really do feel like the hair fairy has just come along and granted my wish. More hair on my head. Do you know, uh, I'm very, very grateful for that. Imagine, imagine what life would be like if I, if I wasn't able to, to have this, if I had to go out au naturel. I, I don't think I'd be very comfortable with that and actually, in all honesty, I think it would make me feel quite sad. But this, this I can definitely do. So I'm going to go and curl it and see what we think. Okay, so I haven't gone to town here. What I've done is I've put in that wand, particularly at the front. Um, what do you think? This is totally experimental. Can you see a little bit more movement there? Do you see that? It was very, very easy to do, you know? I don't know how long it'll last, but it lifts it off my face a little as well. You see? The other thing I did was I had some of those fibers, but with the spray nozzle, and I darkened up this area. So the beauty of this is to be able to tuck it behind my ear, so low density that it's absolutely no problem. And really, very, very natural looking. I curled a little bit of my own hair. Um, it's kind of messy. You know, this is the other thing is you don't have to be absolutely precise, you don't have to be an expert, you don't have to be a hairdresser to just get a little bit of life. Now, when I first put this topper on, the hair sort of fell down, but it kind of cur curled up a little bit here and there. Totally different to how your own hair would be. Your own hair would have oils that go through it. It would conform to the shape of your head. It would go in and out in all the right places. So with that curling wand, I'm able to replicate that to make this look like my own, more so. Let's look at the back.
I haven't done much to the back. And I suppose that this Remy hair will get heat damage just like any other hair would. So <laughs> I'm keen to have this last as long as possible. Um, I am going to change my clothes though because there's no way that I'm going to get away with this very thin summer dress today. <laughs> no way. So I'm going to wear something a little bit more substantial but I feel that I have no worries. feels good so this is just being first impressions review of this topper and I'm going to review it again once I've become a little bit more accustomed to it worn it out and gotten a feel for how it behaves what it can and can't do how does it look up all of that sort of good stuff thanks bro I hope you found this useful See you next time.